Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Uh, I'm finally getting around to doing the tag for my Bella Blessing. Um, I've just recently subscribed to her channel and I really wanted to do this tag um, for my mini me. And um, I don't know, uh, I know some of you know um, that I was born with a condition called albinism and um, the correct medical term for it is ocular cutaneous albinism and um, it's a faulty gene that I inherited from both of my parents. Both of my parents had to carry this gene and um, I ended up inheriting it and um, it just means that I was born without any pigment, um, well, any men menalin, um, which is what causes the pigment in our skin, the color coloration in our skin. So it means I was born with very white hair and very pale skin and eyelashes and eyebrows and <laughs> all my hair all over my body is white. Uh, so I'm like a Yeti, no. Um, yeah, and um, my eyes are very light as well, and um, I'm very light sensitive. I don't like to go out on bright days, and if it's a very, very bright day, I can't even see at all. And dark glasses don't help because they just, they cut out the light, but then they cut off my vision completely. So on those days, I use a white cane, um, but I usually have one of my family members with me uh, on bright sunny days or I'll wait until the sun has gone down but luckily living here in the UK we don't have that many sunny days anyway so <laughs> but um, we do have some sunny days I'm, I'm, I'm only teasing but um, yeah so and it means also I have a thing called a nystagmus which um, I think even people without albinism can have my daughter's actually got one as well she, she hasn't inherited my albinism but she does have a nystagmus where her eyes, when she's upset or tired or anxious or concentrating too hard, sometimes you get a slight movement in your eyes. And my mum said when I was little, my nystagmus was very, very fast. And sometimes the kids at school would tease me about it or, you know, with children, anyone that's different you know, they don't understand and they'll say, well, why why do your eyes move like that? And then some of them would say, oh, is everything wobbly because your eyes are moving? So, but, um, you know, um, it slowed down a lot. And um, I think now people are more aware of disabilities and they're more, you know, when they ask questions, it's more out of curiosity and they want to understand and they want to help, I think, most people. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit about me and my albinism. So here's my mini me and you haven't seen her before. She's the, some of you might recognize her. She's the Zendrick sculpt by Dawn McLeod. McLeod, McLeod. Um, she was one of the first reborns that I got because when I entered into my reborn journey and I found these dolls, the first doll that I ordered I, I was very naive and I didn't know much about these dolls and I rushed in and I ordered a doll and I actually got scammed. The lady sent out a doll that was nothing like the doll in the picture and uh, it was quite upsetting. Then she accused me of damaging the doll but luckily I paid through PayPal and I stuck to my guns and I took photographs of everything. I had all the proof and I got refunded. So that was good. And then I quickly learnt by my mistake and um, I just happened to post on Facebook about how upsetting it was and did anyone know where I could get, um, you know, a genuine reborn. And then this lovely lady, um, she was an elderly lady, and she happened to be selling her little Zendrick. And I absolutely loved her because I thought, oh, she looks like me. She's like, um, if I could get a baby... Um, made to look like me because of my albinism because she's very pale and she's got quite pink tones in a minute i'll um take the camera off of me and i'll show you her limbs properly but she's got this very white blonde hair i think she's meant to be a premature baby 
um, you can actually feel she's got like the soft spot that the babies have. Um, there is a proper name for it and I should know it because I am a mum. <laughs> but I'll just call it a soft spot. Is it fontanelle? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Something like that. But it's the soft spot anyway before the baby's skull closes up as they get older. It's their little soft spot when they're born. And you can actually feel that indented in the top of her head. It's amazing. And she's got this lovely fine white hair. Um, the reason I didn't feature on my channel is because I did love her. And I kind of was just... I've, I cuddle her and I love her. But I wasn't keen on how dark her lips are. I thought, oh, looks like she's got lipstick on. <laughs> um, I don't know if I could lighten that up a bit, but I don't know. I didn't, but so I just usually keep the dummy in. But I do love her because I feel like she is like a little representation of a baby with albinism. That's how I feel. Um, that wasn't how she was presented when the lady sold her, but. That's what I think she looks like to me because she's very pale and she has like these pinky tones on her. And her little pink vest says, actually, I'll, I'll lay her down. I'll take the camera off of me so you can see her better. Um, sorry, guys. Actually, how do I do that now? 